is it the end? The signs are right in front of us. Let me take you on a journey that will detail some wild and crazy things. Just sit back and indulge. These are some of the events that keeps reoccurring on a daily basis. Where is this all going? It's June the 5th, 2022 in Saginaw, Michigan. Our family is having a barbecue with a few friends. Laura Brindia is pregnant and it's almost due. She is excited about her new expected baby. Everyone is enjoying themselves when a couple in the corner began to argue. Something is wrong, seriously wrong. The sister of Laura breaks up the chaos and some people went home and some stayed. A couple hours goes by and it's around 2 a.m. in the morning. Some guys are walking up to the house and soon as they get to the front, they rush in shooting everything moving. Any and everyone that was in the house was killed and seriously injured, including the woman that was pregnant. They rushed us to the hospital to see if they could save the baby after multiple surgeries. Removing the baby and keeping her healthy for the next month was a success. Two other guys were brought to the hospital from the same incident. Cops said they are not suspects. It is June 5th, 2022, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, just before 2 a.m. At a nightclub, everyone's having fun, drinking, conversing, until someone started shooting. <laughs> Gunshots went on for at least 10 minutes, cops said. There were multiple shooters, and all 14 victims were shot, while three others were hit by vehicles attempting to flee the scene. Among the three people that died, two of them died from bullet wounds, and the others were struck by cars. The chaos continues. June the 4th, 2022. On a typical summer night, hundreds gather on this famous street. 11.30 p.m. near the South Street in the city's Queen Village neighborhood in Philadelphia. Two groups are at Rita's Italian Ice on 239 South Street. Two men are arguing when someone threw the first punch. This must be over something consequential. Hate is in the air. A man runs away and tries to get away from something and that's when the gunshots start. Four people have been arrested in connection with the mass shooting. 18 year old Kadir Dukes Hill, 17 year old Najee Whittington, 18 year old Karan Gardner, and 34 year old Rasheen Vereen. Both Dukes Hill and Whittington are expected to face murder charges for shooting into the crowd after the initial shots were fired. Three people were killed that day, and 11 people were injured or shot. Philadelphia set a historic record of 562 homicides a year ago in 2021, the highest number in the city's history. June 4, 2022, Virginia Chesterville County Police just arrived onto a scene after receiving a call of shots fired. They walked up on Stephanie Road. First, when they got on the scene, they noticed a man lying down, motionless, with gunshot wounds. He could hardly speak, but he tries anyways. Just a moment goes by and he dies before the ambulance could arrive. They look closer and notice that there are other people laying down on the ground, but they seem to be moving around, just suffering from pain. Take a closer look, and it's a graduation party for a Thompson Dale High School graduate with around 50 to 100 attending. Most of these guys that showed up didn't even go to the high school. They order a few ambulances because five people were suffering from gunshot wounds and their other injuries, and one of them was dead. Tabari J. Carter. He was just 20 years old. Sacramento, April the 3rd, 2022. It's around 4 a.m. in the morning. Fred Harris, a resident of Sacramento, is asleep when he's woken up by a strange phone call early in the morning by the Sacramento Police Department telling him that his son could have been one of the murder victims of a shooting. He then hurried up and got up and called his younger daughter, Kay Harris. 
she was on the scene within 20 minutes. When she got there, everything was taped off and she couldn't gain the access she needed. She got back in her vehicle and kept circling the block desperately to find the answer she wanted. Is her brother dead? At this moment, Kay Harris has reasons to be worried. The news has just shared the death toll has reached the six, with 12 people being injured. And one of those people that was taken into the coroner's van was indeed her brother. Later on, she would get a phone call that would make her nightmares come true. This is the last thing that Sacramento needed. When just in February, on the 28th, 2022, a little girl has just woken up. She is so excited to see her father, considering that she only gets to see him on certain days since the parents split up. She is especially excited today because she gets to go to church with her father and two other sisters. Her father gets to the house to pick up the girls and everything seems to have went normal. They get in the car and the father started telling them by emphasizing how much he loves them and how he wishes things were different. At the church was over, he took the kids to go get their coats. And that's when he started crying and praying loudly. As he shoots each one of his children, his daughters, in their hearts, where the kids held the love for their father, their hero. He then killed the antagonist of this non fictional tale, which was himself. The end. <laughs>